Hi guys, today is the fifth video of our little series for paleo eating and this one is definitely the easiest one of our whole series and this is just a nice nut mixture, a really good snack. It kind of spices up the regular nuts and it makes them a lot tastier and for not really many extra calories and these are definitely really storable and they are good just grab and go. So we are going to be using a, the stove today, but other than that, no other appliances, and this should go really quick. So first we're gonna use coconut oil to grease our pans, and then we are going to use, you can't see it, but there is about a little bit more than a half teaspoon of garlic powder, a full teaspoon of salt, maybe a little more, and about one and a half teaspoons of paprika. Now, that seems like a lot of paprika, and I'm also a little nervous about that because I kind of made this recipe up myself, but we have three cups of nuts, so I'm thinking that'll all incorporate well. And in any case, I will add the paprika a little bit at a time to make sure that we don't overpower it with too much spice. So let's head over to the stove. Okay, so let's actually get started with this recipe. So first, I'm just gonna take, this is just like a normal skillet pan. I didn't want to use like a pot because we didn't really need that. And I wanted to leave it kind of open so you guys could see what I was doing. And I'm just gonna turn it on to about I'm gonna say like medium to low heat. I don't want them to burn, definitely not, but we kinda of wanna slow roast them without using the oven. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first, not put that in, I'm going to take my coconut oil, which I used in my previous video. This is just non, non flavored, nothing refined coconut oil. You can get it on Amazon really easy. It's a good, healthy fat that you can use to um, make sure that your stuff doesn't stick and it doesn't taste like anything it has none of the bad nutritional value of canola oil. And I'm kind of just putting in about a spoonful, but I might do a little bit more since we have three cups of nuts to test. Okay, so I'm gonna take my spatula and I'm just gonna start mixing this around. It won't melt super quickly, but it's been, my little box has been sitting by the stove all day, so it's pretty warm at this point. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to mix it around, keeping it on low heat, and I might decide to either turn it up or put it down depending on how fast my nuts are cooking, but I just want to make sure that it's the right thing and you can totally adjust it anytime. Okay, so now that that's done, it's all melted, I'm just going to pour in my nuts. And these are a little bit big for this pan, but it's not a big deal. We have still plenty of room, so nothing to worry about. I'm just going to kind of mix these in. Make sure to coat them all with the cooking oil because not only will that make them not stick and probably less likely to burn, but it will help have, oops, it'll help have the uh, spices stick to them a lot better. And another thing with this is kind of salt is kind of different for everybody. It depends on how salty you like them. If you like them really salty, then you can add more and not so much you can add less. I think that's just kind of something that you taste and decide. I'm actually gonna turn my heat up a little bit for now because I like them to get hot before I add my spices, but as we keep them on longer, you can turn it down depending on how brown yours are getting. And some people like them more burnt. I specifically don't like them more burnt, so I'll have to be watching them pretty carefully to see what's going on and make sure that they're doing good. So now that these are warm and they're all coated in the coconut oil, you can also use olive oil if you'd like, that's fine too, avocado oil, anything like that. I just think coconut oil is the easiest and I think it gives them a good, like, baked taste. So I'm gonna add my salt. And I think actually, I'm as I was talking about saltiness before, I'm gonna do a little bit more. Cause I do really like them really salty and I don't want them to be offset by how much this we have, especially cause these are originally unsalted nuts. So you gotta also, as we were saying, you have to be careful about if they're unsalted nuts, make sure that you definitely add more salt than if they were salted. So I'm gonna add a little bit of my, a little bit of my paprika. I'm not gonna add all of it just because, again, I'm a little worried about it being too much, and I'm gonna add all of my garlic powder. Now, this is kind of the point where we decide like whether we want to add more of our spices. So again, I'm just gonna really mix these up, as I've mentioned in my previous videos, mixing, mixing your spices in is really, really important because I don't want them to all just be clustered. And as I see, like we have a big mound of our garlic there. So just really mix them around, make sure that they're good. And right now it's looking like, oh geez, I'm making a mess. It's looking like there's not too much of the paprika. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more, but I have a feeling this amount is going to be a little bit too much. I based my recipe off of one from a different website. Um, so I like to be careful, you know, to make it my own. I wanna make sure that I don't 
overcompensate or if I'm not following it correctly, don't go strictly by what they say depending on your palette and what you'd like. So I'm just gonna stand here, keep mixing them, I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Nuts are a super good snack and especially these, I have a mixture of cashews, pistachios, almonds, and pecans, and I love pecans especially. But all of the nuts are super duper good and this was a very easy recipe. I even taught myself and it's, I'm not, you know, the best cook, but anyone can enjoy these. So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. This was number five of our series and I'll see you next time. Bye.